Hi everybody, I know, long time, no talk. I know we have not made a video um, in a while. We were actually down the shore, Miranda came down with me and like my family this past weekend. And everything's been kind of crazy. Um, happy July 4th to all of you. Um, anyway, well, this is going to be a comparison video. It's going to be lip balms, tinted lip balms, and lip butters. Um, com compare, contrast, I guess you could say. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I just never had, like, steady thoughts on them. And now I think I finally do, and I understand it a lot more. Um, like, the main differences. So, yeah. Let's get started. And yes, I do have a bathing suit on under this because I'm going to my friend's house after. Swim. So, yeah. So, these are just like some products that I have. Um, let's start off with lip balms. So, I'm going to just show you some brands and like kind of explain to you what a lip balm really is. So, these are lip balms I have. No, not all of them. I have more, but you know. The ones that are like... In my room. So, um, the first, well, let me tell you what a lip balm really is. A lip balm is basically like um, a balm that will moisturize your lips, make them softer, less chapped, and it's really important to wear lip balms um, because you don't want your lips being all crackly and ugh, yucky. Um, and you want to get lip balms with SPF in them, especially for the summer, because you are exposed to a lot of sun. Um, but, so this one is the Blistex Root Smoothies Triple Tropical SPF 15 Lip Balm. Um, I love the Blistex lip balms. I've tried them before, and then I love the Root Smoothies ones. Um, but this one just happens to be Triple Tropical and it is like a mini one compared to like a lip smacker. So I'll just show you. It's not tinted. It's just like this yellowy color. And they are kind of, it kind of looks like dry. Um, at first they are a little bit dry. You really have to work them into your lips a couple times. Um, but I'll just show you. Show you like the glossiness of them. They do give your lips a nice gloss, which is nice, um, just to have on your lips, so you don't have to wear, like, a lip gloss. Um, even if you just don't want to wear, like, just a plain lip balm, wear a lip balm underneath your lipstick, um, just so your lipstick doesn't dry out your lips, or, like, lip gloss or whatever you're wearing on your lips. Lip balms are very important. Um... Then I just have these lip smacker ones. Uh, th these are like my two favorite. This one is Strawberry Snowflake. And these are an SPF. So I don't wear these as much um, in the summer. This kind of just smells like strawberry. But I feel like this almost does have a tint to it once it's on your lips. Um, you can't really see it. It is so glossy and super soft, and it is like shimmery. Um, but I just love the lip smacker ones. They're just so easy to put on. They glide on like, I don't know what glides on really easily, but they're amazing. And then this one is my favorite. This is Vanilla Sugar Cookie. Oh my God. It smells delicious. You could tell I've used it a lot. This one definitely does have more of a tint to it and more of like a, um, like shimmery, like a baby pink sparkle. That's kind of why it looks tinted. You can't tell on camera, but if you see these two, this one's definitely more pink and this one's more red. So I think that's really cool. Using my notepads to wipe this off. Smart, right? Um, I, th the next one is another balm, and I'm not sure if it does have SPF, um, 
but this is the EOS lip balm in strawberry sorbet. Yeah, it's a little pink, and I use this every day, all the time. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. It smells really good, and it doesn't like have any like anything to it. It just has like a nice gloss. But I just think these are so moisturizing. These are a little like drier in a way, but they still moisturize really well. Their formula is just amazing. So when you're buying a lip balm, don't buy it just because of the scent. You want to buy it because it really does the job very well. Um, so lip smackers are kind of more of like a indulgence, but they do moisturize very well. So... Those are lip balms. Now for tinted lip balms, I only have one. Um, I've tried several, but this is the one that I have. Like I've tried them other people's and stuff like that. Okay, anyway, um, this is by Laura Mercier and it is a tinted lip balm SPF 15 in Berry. I've heard a lot of great things about regular drugstore lip balms, um, uh, tinted lip balms like Palladio, I think, uh, Neutrogena. They have really nice ones, so you don't have to get high end. Um, but anyway, so that is what it looks like. Just watch it on my other hand. It is quite shimmery. And this is just so moisturizing. And look at that color payoff. Like, it's amazing. Me, my lips are kind of, like, naturally, like, darker. So, it doesn't come up off, like, that berry-ish. So, but it still is so pigmented. So, I kind of have to, like, dab it on. Um, be careful. Not I can't really, like, slab it on, if you know what I mean. Um... And it smells really, really good, like citrusy. So this is really good if you want color and you want protection for your lips. I just think that it's such a pretty color and it's really great, really great product. <clears throat> so tinted lip balms, basically they're lip balms just with color. So if you want the protection, you want the moist, the, the nourishment and you want like that, um, color, tint the lip balms are your thing. Now, lip butters. Lip butters are very similar. Wait, let me check some time. Okay. Lip butters are very similar to tinted lip balms. Um, there, I don't think many other companies, I think Revlon's like the only one that I've heard of that makes lip butters, but what makes them different is I feel like lip butters are more, more like buttery, like they glide on easier than some balms or tinted lip balms and they do have more color so yes these are the Revlon color burst lip balms I have two here this one is cotton candy 045 so it's like a lavender um, pink Oh my god, they glide on so easily. And like, it took me like a while to kind of get that color. But really on your lips, it just like, you can do like two things and that's a perfect color. Um, so yeah. Like, this and Cupcake are very similar, but Cupcake's more of like a pinky tone. This is more purple toned. I wish they smelled like what they say. They don't. That'd be cool. So that's cotton candy. Then I have strawberry shortcake, which is a more peachy coral tone pink. Oh, and it's 080, if you're wondering the number. There we go. Wait. And they're definitely more glossy than a tinted lip balm. Oh, strawberry shortcake is more pink, even though it may look more like 
coral tone and peach. It's very pink. Like, it's very like cupcake. Um, you can definitely blend it out, though. So that is strawberry shortcake. So you can see the glossiness compared to the tinted lip balms, the butters, the tinted lip balms. They're definitely more glossier. And um, I just love these lip butters. They're so amazing. So lip butters, basically, if you want nourishment, color, and a, just a perfect, like, glide on. This actually lasts very long. Long-lasting color. And you don't even need a lip gloss or anything over it. This is just, it kills like three birds, two birds, and one stone. Um, and then the packaging of these is just amazing. So, I love these. I recommend all these products. And yeah, so that's like your comparison video. I don't really have a favorite. Well, I guess lip butters are my favorite um, out of all. I don't know if these are SPF. I don't think they are. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy, enjoyed this video. If I would say tinted lip balm or, Rev, or lip butters, I would say Rev, lip butters. It's nice to have at least like one tinted lip balm. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.